6.21 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, May 23rd, 2023. Yep, you might have heard the news. Uh, I guess it's interesting. Shocking, interesting, provocative. So, Ron DeSantis is going to announce... Ron DeSantis is going to announce his presidency tomorrow, running for president for 2024. And he is going to announce it on Twitter and evidently team up with this guy to help him in his campaign. Isn't that amazing? Musk and DeSantis. So I checked Twitter. It's it's on there. I'll see if I can take put up a screenshot of Twitter. But it's true. So... It's, it's, it's true as far as I, I don't know how to explain this. Well, you know, I talked to I talked to a couple of female friends, and one of them talked about Brent because I tend to just blurt things out. So my immediate reaction is, of course, it's part of part of the movie. And the thing is, this guy right here, uh, Musk, who in my mind's a composite, and I kind of wasn't a fan ever since he got 500 million to build the Tesla plant in the Bay Area because I was in the Bay Area and I thought it was unjust that the, the U.S. government uh, lent, lent him or gave him 500 billion, or excuse me, 500 million to build the Tesla plant over in Fremont. Anyway, so DeSantis and him going together, my immediate reaction is it's, you know, bogus. But it's about connecting the dots. And one of my best friends at the time he just listened to him and this was the guru. And I think for people like in their 20s and 30s and maybe 40s, they, they think he is the cat's meow. He's the most listened to guy in the whole world in the United States for people that age. Um, and I was always kind of shocked at it because I thought, you know, he's doing all these things. And then one time some people courted him on being Christian and he said he believed more in this philosopher than in... Um, than being Christian. I forget the name of the philosopher at the minute. It was a Spanish philosopher. Anyway, back to this. So DeSantis and Musk. Now that could seems like it could be pretty powerful, but you start thinking about Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, and a lot of people think he's a phenomenal, great, um, conservative governor of Florida. But it's sometimes Trump will drop these little barbs and jabs he calls him, you know, the sanctimonious, and he leaves these little things, and so you kind of start thinking about it. And kind of my problem is, is like, what can I say? I just see see, see things immediately. So, uh, you know, Trump's still going to remain president uh, anyway. Anyway, so I'm not good at telling people to connect or having to connect the dots and holding back. I mean, Trump's going to be reinstated as president with two election or. Or otherwise. But anyway, so it's kind of interesting that Ron DeSantis is going to uh, announce on this guy's platform that he bought and lost billions. Meanwhile, he's sending people into space, supposedly, and making Tesla cars, which, from what I understand, listening to some doctors, the worst thing you can do as far as radiation is drive a Tesla car. So, folks, connect the dots, you know... This guy, I think I called him once to somebody. He's a commie pinko, okay? He's he's a composite guy and probably was doing stuff. And even, you know, even back at Stanford and all the stuff he did, very sketchy all along the way. Very, very sketchy. And the fact that people admire him so much, kind of like, what, what, what? But evidently, a lot of people really admire him. And when Ron DeSantis announces tomorrow he's going to do it on Twitter, I guess with the help of Mr. Composite. So I thought I'd make a video out of it while it's hot. I talked to some people and connecting the dots. Well, it, okay, so I've connected the dots. I mean, this guy, he's fake, but I got to be careful because I've lost best friends by, by just telling them the truth about this guy. He's fake but they think he's real and they admire him and they listen to every word he says and he bought Twitter. Supposedly we got free speech, but I still listen to a little bit of older wisdom, not uh, fake Joe Biden, number four Joe Biden or three or two or one or even the original. He was worse than the actors by far. But uh, that guy, that uh, 
is in Mar-a-Lago sometimes and uh, supports the original laws of the land. That guy is where my I lay my chips because he holds the trump cards, not this little bozo and not the current governor of Florida. What could I say? 521. I think I should try to end it at 555. This is a calm, folks. But uh, the movie continues. But a lot of people on the other side of the movie don't know they're in a movie. And they're just, uh, you know, it's already checkmate. They're just kind of moving in desperation. And some of them don't even realize that it's checkmate. Others, it's uh, checkmate for, for their very existence. So they'll never give up until they're toppled, toppled over. They probably won't resign until you actually say checkmate. Some people in professional chess, you know, you check out before because you know it's hopeless. But I think these people will have, they will wait until the king is in checkmate. They won't give up and turn over their king. They will wait till the end. So, Mr. Composite and Mr. De Sanctimonious, Tomorrow should be an interesting news cycle, folks. Rock on. <laughs> I have to admit, oh, it's fun being alive right now. We're winning. And sorry, sorry, Mr. Composite. Estás perdiendo. Está, no bueno. Ciao for now. Ciao para siempre.